Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing good. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and swatching Faye Beauty's Buildable Matte Lipsticks both with and without makeup. So if you want to know more, keep on watching. And also, I've made a review on Brash, which is a brow and lash mascara by Faye Beauty. If you want to watch that, I'll link it up here below. So without further ado, let's nerd over some makeup. Faye stands for free and equal beauty. Uh, this is the packaging of the lipstick. It's a holographic cardboard packaging which I've never seen before actually. It's kind of very unique. I've never seen it before. All the details regarding the manufacture and expiry date, everything is mentioned. You get 2 grams of product for rupees 600. It earlier used to be 800 I believe but now it is 600. It's vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, uh, fragrance-free, and I think I like it quite a bit. Out of the five shades, I have two, which is too much and too cheeky, and these are also color-coordinated, so it's easy to understand which one you have. This is what the actual lipstick looks like. It comes in this white packaging with black lettering, very minimalistic, very nice, and the top is transparent, so you can see which color you have if you have more than one shade and the shade name stickers are at the bottom same thing it's helpful to know which shade you have each order of a lipstick comes with these freebies one is this sticker sheet which i really like and they're going with the theme of the black and white thing and you also get a pendant which says fey out of the five shades, like I said, I got the two shades, too cheeky and too much. Two of the shades are nude and there are three bold ones. So these two are among the bold ones. This is the shade too much. It is a red shade. I have uh, done a swatch with one swipe and multiple swipes um, just to show how buildable they are. This is what it looks like. This red will suit anyone actually. It's not really like a blue toned or warm toned. It's just like a very basic red. This is the shade called Too Cheeky and this is what it looks like. It's basically a magenta pink shade. It's a very beautiful shade. It'll suit all skin tones and it's more pigmented than too much. One thing I've noticed is if you haven't used this in a long time, you need to swatch it a little bit so that the color shows up more. So yeah. Here I'm swatching the shade too much. On the left you can see I've just swiped it once and on the right I've used multiple swipes. This is just to show you how buildable this lipstick is. The next shade is too cheeky. Same thing. On the left just one swipe and on the right you have multiple swipes. Here's a closer look at the shade too much. It's a basic um, true red shade and the texture of this lipstick is like creamy matte and it's not entirely matte uh, if it is a little hot and humid as you can see my lips are quite shiny and i hadn't used a lip balm underneath this this is the shade too cheeky which is a magenta pink shade um i really like this shade i, I liked it more than too much actually and it's more pigmented than too much um, let me know what you think in the comments which of the two shades did you like let me know these lipsticks can also be used as a blush so I just take a little amount uh, since it's already so pigmented and then I just blend it in and it gives a really nice very natural flush of color. I did a wear test with the shade Too Much and it basically lasted me for about 6 hours. The tint was slightly left back. Um, so since Too Cheeky is more pigmented than Too Much, I'm expecting it to last more than 6 hours. This is what it looks like with meals and drinks and stuff. It is also not transfer or smudge proof so I wouldn't really recommend you to wear this under a mask. So yeah. And this lipstick only has a medium coverage. I'll start by listing the pros first. It's vegan, cruelty free and it comes in a really nice packaging. You also get freebies along with it. That's good. It's great for gifting. Um, I like the formula of this. It's like, uh, it's like a balm but it also looks matte to a certain extent of course. I think if you live in a hotter, uh, humid climate, this would um, look more creamy than matte is what I feel. 
This can be used in different ways. You can use it on the lips, you can use it on the cheeks and on the eyes, which is a great thing. It's a multi-purpose product. I feel like Fay Beauty uh, focuses on products that can be used in multiple different ways, which I absolutely like. So if you're in a hurry and you just want to use one product, you can make do with just one of this. And the red shade called Too Much can be used for color correcting as well. If you have really dark circles, you can use that for color correcting and conceal on top of that. So yeah. This also leaves a nice tint behind and moisturizes your lips uh, for about 2-3 to three hours and then that moisture goes away but the tint stays. Um, so that is a good thing I feel and even after I remove it with a micellar water, the little bit of tint does stay back so if you're into like really nice lip tints this would work for you as well let's go to the cons now um, this came broken so for something that is supposed to be uh, used multiple times for multiple layers this is not a very sturdy uh, lipstick that is one thing and another thing is this has a slight scent um, it's not any added fragrance it is the oil in this lipstick so it gives like a really funny scent not many people will like that I feel and for 600 rupees you're only getting two grams of product which is quite less to be frank and uh, the concept of buildable lipstick I mean any lipstick is buildable I don't think uh, this is very unique in itself but I like the formula I think the formula is pretty unique but the idea that this is a buildable matte lipstick I feel every lipstick is buildable it can be used in several different ways as well this can also be used on the cheek and on the eyes it's safe for that matter but people with oily skin please beware um, be careful when you're applying it on your cheeks and be careful when you're removing it remove it properly and also double cleanse so yeah, that's it for my review. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please do like this and comment down below what you liked about this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye. Oh, one more thing. Follow me on Instagram at Nerd Over Makeup too. Yeah. Bye.